Well, that's the one thing we talked about today. Uh, first of all, transition defense has to be a whole lot better. You know, we talked about that today and went through it for about 25 minutes. Um, our, our coverages, as far as our pick and roll defense, we told our bigs they got to do a better job of being up. You know, that, that's the biggest thing because when they're back, uh, which to me is a soft defense, then those guards are turning the corner. They got a chance to attack our bigs. So our bigs got to do a better job of anticipating the bigs being up there and being able to show, you know, and get those guards to veer out a little bit. And then if we can do that, then we put ourselves in a better position defensively. Offensively, you're scoring enough points to win the games. What do you like? And then what do you need to clean up offensively? Well, it's still spacing. You know, at times I think we get um, mentally fatigued, you know, and then we start creeping in and itching in a little bit and our spacing gets a little messed up. Uh, and sometimes we over dribble the ball. So we, we just got to make sure that we understand that you know, there's five guys out there and we all have to share it. You know, we all have to set screens. We have to do a better job of uh, uh, setting up our guys as well. But like you said, offensively, we've been pretty good. You know, defensively, transition wise, we have to get 10 times better in that area. And then our pick and roll defense has to get better. Jordan Hill has been playing extremely well from a year ago. What have you told him given his role or got him to play so efficiently? I told him he should average a double double. I'm saying you're going to get wide open shots to just be able to knock them down. Because I've seen him shoot that shot you know, throughout training camp, so I know it's not something that he's unaccustomed to doing. And now I think the league is starting to find out that it's a shot that he can make. You know, So uh, just trying to give him confidence. And I think he has a world of it right now that he can take that shot and not be you know, uh, taken out of the game or anything like that. You know, He knows I have a lot of confidence in him shooting that. Do you think Ryan Kelly will play tomorrow? I don't know. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. You know, He went through about an hour of practice today. Um, We'll see how he reacts tomorrow morning, and he'll go through shoot around if he can, and then we'll go from there. How did he look? He looked okay. He looked okay. Like I said, it was, you know, it, it wasn't a lot of the stuff that we did just a minute ago where we were getting up and down and bumping and grinding, but, you know, I thought he looked okay. It's just a matter of how he feels tomorrow. Byron, you've talked so much about defense ever since you were hired here. You know, it's only four games, but how much does it affect you with all the points from being allowed? I think it's 118 a game or something crazy like that. Well, it, it doesn't affect me now because, again, we, we've only been together five weeks. You know, and there's still a lot of things that we have to put in. There's a lot of things that we have to get used to. And, and I know, um, you know, a lot of emphasis has been on the defensive end. It's going to continue to be because I know that's what wins championships. So uh, I'm not letting our guys off the hook because, you know, we're not doing the things that I know we're, we, we should be doing right now. But I also understand the fact that this is a totally new system to them as well. So it's going to take time. Be close to turning the corner like for three, four minutes at a time. What are the little things, both offensively and defensively, that you keep talking about cleaning up to get you over the hump? Well, on the offensive end, again, it's our spacing and just sharing the ball and setting screens for one another, you know, playing together as a team. And defensively, it's just the little things. You know, I just keep talking about the little things, you know, um, you know, transition defense, not getting caught looking, you know, making sure we get back in the paint and then close out from then. Um, and again, like I said earlier, just the mental part of the game as well, because I think when we do get a little tired, we get a little fatigued and our guys all of a sudden they stop thinking about what they need to do, you know, so, you know, we can't allow uh, fatigue to beat us, you know, and if we can continue to do that, then we'll get better. And, and I think the first four games, I think we have gotten better. It's just a matter of we play some really good teams. Is this a team that is digesting it? It's just going to take some time? It is. I mean, like I said, we've been together five weeks, coach, and it, it takes a whole lot longer than five weeks to get a team to understand uh, exactly what you want them to do on both ends of the floor and to be on the same page at all times.